Last year marked the 10th anniversary of the Disney Concert Hall. Completed in 2003, the structure is one of the most modern in Los Angeles and houses one of the greatest orchestras in the world. So as you can imagine, when I showed up for a concert, I was very excited. But when the orchestra began to play, I cringed. They sounded horrible. The cellos screeched, the violins yawned, and somewhere in the back, a trumpet was running scales. I covered my ears, hoping it wasn't too late for a refund. Then I realized they were just tuning up. Finally, the conductor took the stage, and as he raised his baton, the orchestra started playing together. Only this time, it was beautiful. Every instrument blended perfectly, and as I listened, I thought to myself, the church is just like this orchestra. We're all so different, designed by God for His unique purpose. Some of us are cellos, others are violins, and I'm sure you've met a couple of kettle drums in your life. We're designed to play together with our brothers and sisters, making room for one another in this great symphony. But sometimes we can lose sight of Christ, our conductor, and start in on something I like to call an improvisational solo performance. But we know from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians that that's not how it's meant to be. For the body does not consist of one member, but of many. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. We're called by Christ to participate with him in harmony with our brothers and sisters in his ministry of grace. Each of us has a part to play, no matter how big or small, and all of our parts are perfectly orchestrated by the great triune conductor. Each is essential to the whole masterpiece of music. When we keep our eyes on him, we can create the most beautiful symphony of all, one that gives glory to our eternal conductor and invites others to join in. I'm Joseph Tkach, speaking of life.